is Walshi 4 from Multicouple Productions, and today I'll be showing you guys how to install single player commands and world edit for single player. So, world edit, if you don't know, I'll show you how it works. It's really cool. Single player commands is also really cool. So, what you want to do is if you Google single player commands, it'll be the first thing you'll see this as the title right here. Um, click on it, scroll all the way down here, past all these cool pictures. This one's really cool. I don't know how they did that, but it's really cool. Uh, pass all the commands, pass the item block, download. Okay, so you want to download this one right here. They prefer this one because they get money for it. And so I'll just click on that one. Um, wait five seconds, skip the ad, which never even showed up, and I'll download a dot zip. You then want to go world edit for single player. And uh, this one, we go right here. And click on download world edit. I'll put the link, this link right here, in the description along with the link for um, single player commands. So the only reason we're downloading world edit is because if you want, so if world edit updates but single player commands doesn't update, you can update world edit just by putting like just by downloading the new world edit and I'll show you how to add it in. So what you want to do is you want to go over here, unzip these two files, here's the world edit, uh, single play commands, yep, so open these up. If it's just class files like this one is, then you should know where it goes. Okay, this one's going to open. We'll put world edit down here for a second. Alright, so go into your Minecraft. If you've seen how I install install Zoms, you'll see how or why I have this and why I have this as a folder. It's really helpful to have it as a folder. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go over to Kind and sort it by the kind. Copy all of these class um, Java class. Put these into your .jar. So, uh, you then take the world edit dot jar, which we already have the world edit dot jar. You can actually get rid of this. Uh, you can take the world edit dot jar from here, and you put it in your bin folder where your Minecraft dot jar is. I think I haven't done this in a while. I'm like 95% sure. We'll test it out right now. So, you open up Minecraft. It's actually exporting a video right now, that's why it's taking so long. Oh, there's turntable. Okay, so Mohan, single player. Let's go into this one. I love this world. My uh, Phoenix Terrain mod world, which I only used for one world. Okay, so if it worked correctly, you'll see down here it says single player commands 2.1 underscore 1 and it has a little shortened URL uh, okay so it's going to lag for some reason you press T it'll pause the game and it'll be like as if you were multiplayer you can go help and it'll show all oh wow there's a ton more usually there's like actually not usually but last update there was only like half as many so if I go fly I can now fly around and it is lagging so much right now um, probably change some of these settings. Uh, let's go here, let's make this shorter. And that probably will fix some of the problem. Okay, so yeah, it's better. Let the wall render a little. Uh, we can go Super Punch. Kind of wish it was Falcon Punch. But uh, now, if you hit stuff, I think it's actually hitting mobs. Let's go find some mobs. Wow, this is lagging a ton. Uh, go. Set speed three. Normal speed is one. Normal jump is also one. Now I jump right now. Um, 
freaking wow, sliding a curve. You know, so basically I hit the cow and I'm flying all the way over there and died. Uh, it's lagging a ton right now, so it's exporting a video. Probably should record while soon this. Um, so anyways, so you get the point, you can look around with that. But basically, if you want to use uh, world edit, which is added on, because we just added it, you have slash, two slashes, and you type in wand. And it'll give you this crappy wooden pickaxe. If you left click, it says first position set. If you right click, it says second position set. You do slash slash replace, replaces all the blocks with any ID. So you can either type in the number ID, like four is cobblestone, and two is grass, or I can type in grass. And it replaces the selected area. Actually, it only replaces the blocks in the selected area. If you want to replace the entire area, you use slash slash set. And if you want to make it empty space, you press zero, and zero is air. And see the yeah. Air. Uh, or you can do set one as stone. You can do some really cool stuff or really fast. You can do, uh, like if I select a bigger area, if I go you over there all the way to, uh, if I were to like dig down some, this might be cool. But, uh, let's go with this block up here. Do a slash slash replace. Um, I should probably turn flying on if I'm gonna do this. Oh, uh, okay. Slash slash replace. Lava. And then every block over here becomes lava. And I can do uh, slash slash replace. And this won't lag like this if it's just because, if you see up here, my CPU is maxed out because it's exporting a video. Which you should also check out because it's exporting a video right now. It's, I don't know what video it is. I think it's the Zombs mod one, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to replace water. Make a ton of water. Slash slash replace. Nope. Uh, I think grass was pretty much what that area was. It goes back to that uh, slash slash set. Let's make a nice little cobblestone square. Yeah, so you can make some really cool stuff really fast. Helps a lot when you build. And if you play on a good server like uh, Oasis, which this is the, uh, the URL that's not a command. Uh, that's the URL right there. You should check that server out. It's really fun. Tons of great people. That's what we play on. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. Check out some of our other stuff. And see you guys later.